Hello Vibrant Engineers, Welcome to my second video on Path to Programmable 3 Design Challenge. The video will cover the creation of project in Zilling's Vivado platform. Let's launch the Vivado application and then proceed by clicking on Create Project from Quick Start menu. Then click Next and provide a name for the project. Here I am using ZYNQ Design Ultra 96. Then click Next. Don't change here, leave as default then click till selection of board. Select category as general purpose, family as zinc ultra scale plus MP socks, package as SBBA 484, speed to minus 1 and temperature 2E. Then click next and finish. Under the project navigator window, go to IP integrator, then click create block diagram. Click plus symbol. It will open a window to choose the IP. Search for Zinc Ultra Scale plus MPSOC. Then save the IP. Customize this IP by double click on Zinc Ultra Scale plus MPSOC. It will open the recustomize IP window. Click on IO configuration. Choose LVCMOS 18 to all I.O. banks and select UART 1 in the peripherals list. No other peripherals are selected at this time. Click on clock configuration check for PSS reference clock value in input clocks and go to output clocks check for cpu r5 frequency and uncheck the pl0 and check for acpu and gpu frequency next select switch to advanced mode then click advanced configuration check for baud rate under uart baud rate selection of uart 1 then click on pspl configuration and uncheck fabric reset enable and AXI HPM0 LPD. Next go to DDR configuration. Change memory type to LPDDR4 and effective RAM bus width as 32 bit. Come back to PS Ultra Scale Plus block design and check once. And click OK. And save the customized IP. Click on Validate Design and the validation is successful. Go to Source window. Right click on .bd file then click on Create HDL Wrapper and click OK. Next click on Generate Bitstream and click OK. Bitstream generation in progress. It includes four processes which are initiation of design, synthesizing the design, placing and routing the design on PL, then it will generate .bit file. We will then export this design. Go to File, Export, Export Hardware, click Next, select Include Bit Stream, click Next, then choose a file. First create a folder as BTs in the same directory. Next, click on select OK, next. Then finish. Next we will launch BTs. I am using command to launch BTs. Select File, New, and Platform Project. To create Platform Project.
Click the Browse button and select the .xsa file that we generated from Vivado. Leave the current settings as the default and click Finish. Click Modify BSP settings on the standalone on PSU underscore Cortex A53 underscore 0. Click on Build Project. The VTs reports that the build was successful. Let's create a new application project. Select the existing platform. Name the application as Hello World. Next, select our BSP. We want to use the standalone BSP. Click Next. Select Hello World and click Finish. Let's modify the example design. Right click on the hello underscore world application and select build or press the hammer icon to build the current project. VTs reports the building of the hello underscore world application was successful. Change the ultra 96 mode to JTAG mode and connect to PC. Right click on application. Select run as and select Zilinx application debug. Click on Run button to execute the Hello World application on the Ultra 96 platform. VTs will download the Hello World ELF to the LPDDR4 and the ARM begins executing the code. That's the end of the video. See you in another video. Happy learning! Please like, comment, share and subscribe.